beautiful day. What's the fucking date? Oh, it's August 6th. Well, okay. It's nice that you came up here and... Well, it's important for me. Thank you. I do a lot of work with Richard and around Richard. I met him somehow through the culture of, you know, graffiti, that mm -hmm. underground thing. And all these years, you know, we painted trains, um, some well, some not so well. Mm -hmm. But we've done a lot of professional work together. And we've traveled a bit together. And, you know, over 20 years later, you know, we still hang out. We, so get we, in here. We you still, can stand next to him so we know who he's talking, you know, who he's talking we, about. We understand each other as artists. You know, if you look at our work, you know, he's seen. He's, you know, world's greatest craft dude. You know, we respect one another and somehow I believe we influence one another to, to keep on making these paintings. You know? We're making a time capsule right now, so yes, it'll be important in the future. Okay. All right. If I say something stupid, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I see everything has changed a whole lot since since the 80s in, in there. It's like a whole new generation of artists, a whole new generation of uh, people interested in the art, a younger crowd interested in it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's, and it's like a, a scary, it's almost a scary thing is because, you know, when you get to a certain age, you know, you, you, know, you, you don't want to be forgotten, you know, so it's like it makes you want to work even harder to get yourself out there because for myself, I don't know about quick, but for myself, I mean, I don't want to be forgotten. I mean, that's my main thing, you know, in the graffiti world. Mm -hmm. So I know I got to work twice as hard now. And uh, being old, the bones don't work as well as they used to. These young kids out there running around like it's nothing today. And it might be safe to say that we never stop painting. Oh, absolutely not. You know, not for 20 stopped. years. Yeah. And I think, like talking about Star Wars, even 20 years ago, guys like Rich, um, future of uh, myself and Zephyr were painting on other things and I think we've continued to do that for 20 years I mean you know this guy's been around the world one way you've been around the world your direction I've been around the world my direction and uh, you know we keep leaving images wherever we go you have an interesting background you're from uh, Hollis <laughs> Queens but there were no subways not like Rich had his you know his favorite playground, very right, nearby backyard. his house. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. So I really had to take a hike to get to the subways. Yeah, you know what? You only had the E and the F in Jamaica, right? Pretty much, and that was that was a good enough haul from where I lived. I moved out by Belmont Park. You know, it's kind of like uh, Richard's world. Like my world back at back out in Hollis. Like you'd walk by my parents' house and you'd hear all this noise, and you'd look in the garage, and there I'd be painting. You know, it was that type of suburban home, do it yourself. Right, right. And, you know, we went to the park, Jamaica Park, for the basketball tournament. That's where all the girls showed up. Uh -huh. And there were these guys with two turntables. And, you know, it was like a party, summertime party. Right. And what really turned me on was the fact that he had plugged his shit into the stream lamp. And I thought that was really cool, not getting electrocuted. Living in house and going to Trinity with JFK Jr., was he in your class? No, but John McEnroe went there. Oh, okay. He was a spud. And a, lot of, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of notable people who might not want to be mentioned uh, uh -huh. went to that school. But you were tagging. Yeah. Right? At that yeah. point? Yeah, definitely. And by traveling to the school, it gave me a great opportunity to see you know, graffiti and what was going on. And since I took so many trains, I went to see my name too. And the Upper West Side was really, for me, kind of like the heart of graffiti. Um, you know, just like benching things for the West Side IRTs um, to see the new styles and flavors come out. That's where I really got turned on by it. The train lines in the neighborhood. Right. You know, there's Cat 87 um, bombing the streets. You know, even SE3 was up. Uh, yeah, you once told me he used to have uh, high tags. Yeah, he used to always have a good spot on Dagestinos. We are here in New York. I don't we're not rich and celebrity type guys, but you know, during the 80s and the type of work we did, it uh, it really propelled you out there. And I mean, you know, the way music was going, whether it was rock or new wave or hip hop, or or whether it was sports and graffiti was a sport, you, know, you, you had to come in contact with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I guess the more cool you were and solid you were as a person, uh, you 
built relationships in that matter. And then people really got to know your name and respect mm. you. I got gray hairs coming out of my arms here now. And I don't even want to tell you where else I'm flying to wear his hands. Oh, uh, okay. I still, I still feel like I'm a kid now. That's the whole, that's the important part. I hear that. Hey, hey look at us. You've been tight over the last 20 years, staying in touch, like... We have, we have, you know, no matter how, though, even though we yeah. packed up and left. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we've, we've kept in touch. That's and beautiful. And seeing each other, and I think it is some sort of mutual admiration, and just knowing that wherever he is, you know, he's working, doing his thing, and, we're, you know, me and my little caves, I'm doing the same thing. It's hard to put in words, but we really believe in our art. Yes. The scenes work looks like scene, revolt looks like revolt, sess looks like sess. But guys like us aren't going to stop. All right, hold on a second. Yeah. Boom each other. <laughs> and Ricky Powell, God, I've known him for years, and I've seen him go through changes. Gosh, he's a dusted guy. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more. Hmm. I like that background. Ah, sweet. Nice. Okay, I think that's about it. Thank you, gentlemen. I really thank you. I'm, I feel, uh, you know, not blessed, you know.